Uh, let's take a look at the US plan. Uh, the Marines have two sets of forces, the, the 7th Marine uh, Regiment here and the 5th Marine here. And then there's a, a force off map, which you can't see in Higgins boats, which I haven't even clipped because I'm not sure that we'll get to them or not. But uh, 1st Marine is, uh, is sitting offshore in boats as a kind of ready reserve. <coughs> <coughs> Historically, as I mentioned in the other video, these guys here were uh, isolated. Uh, the rest of the Japanese had retreated. Uh, this was, I think, the 24th or 28th of September or something like that. And we're now on the 7th of October when the uh, two reinforced regiments of uh, Marines are basically coming to take on the Japanese in, a, in an off in an offensive. And so the, f the first day of battle... As what we'll be looking at here, and both forces had both had both reinforced themselves and both planned on uh, having uh, offensive operations seven, eight, nine of October. Uh, bad weather on the eighth interfered with everything, and so we're looking at the gameplay from ten a.m. on the seventh through to the early evening, uh, afternoon, I should say, of of the seventh. At least I think it's up to the seventh. If it goes all the way through to, uh, I don't know if I have it handy here. If it goes all the way through, if it's two days, then I have sorely mistaken my plans. Where is that piece of paper? One of the problems when you print these things out and don't bind them, you have all sorts of bits of paper. Bits and pieces. Yeah, it is just the one day. 34 turns. Okay. 34 turns, 20 minutes a turn. That gives you a feel for the duration of the battle. Anyway, let's talk about these plans. So, uh, so two plans. Uh, just as we discussed previously, we want to have uh, goals and objectives and a time frame for those goals and objectives. And we also want to have uh, failure instructions as well. And here, uh, both plans are, are predicated upon uh, you know, 5th Marine, uh, this 1st bat Battalion here, uh, taking care of this company in short order. So I've kind of massed the forces up here uh, in the hope that uh, we'll get the initiative and get to shoot first <coughs> and uh, suppress these guys, then be able to close assault them. One thing I failed to mention in the other video is the, the victory points. Uh, you also pick up a victory point for killing uh, marine units in close assault. So uh, when I first read the rules, I thought it was 10 victory points for the Japanese uh, per uh, marine uh, step lost, and only one for Japanese ones lost. And uh, I was a little confused there, but it's just poorly formatted in the, in the rule book. Okay, so this, uh, or I misunderstood it, maybe it's not poorly formatted, it's just uh, was unusually formatted for my little brain to figure out. Uh, so we're going to, uh, regardless of what happens and which plan we take, the first thing we have to do is knock these guys out of the way or force them to uh, re uh, retreat back. Now, with the bonsai rules, you don't get this save, your, uh, save yourself retreat uh, option. You immediately convert to bonsai mode if you're in a stack with X number of points, X number of steps, and then you continue to attack until it hex you uh, in. You are either all dead or they are all dead. The enemy is all dead. So uh, forcing a retreat here is not a good option. So we really want to try and just knock the crap out of these guys as quickly as we can uh, with, uh, um, with uh, uh, area fire and suppressive fire. All right. Uh, <clears throat> we do have some tanks in reserve in the back. I can't really see that, can you? Five minutes of me pointing to the darkness. Um, Let's see. So, uh, so these guys will advance down the road and then uh, attempt to attack into the village, not crossing the sand spit, which is uh, just a death trap uh, because of these, uh, these, these hex sides here. Only one unit at a time uh, can cross over and it's going to be a opportunity fire heaven for folks. So we want to come in through the, across the river and through the jungle. So that, that, will be, that will be the plan. And then uh, this formation here on the right-hand side of your screen, uh, the second, I think that's second battalion, uh, we're going to bring them along this ridge line here uh, and stage here. 
I'm really doing a poor job of keeping the camera on where my, my hand is. Uh, stage here and then uh, strike in on this hex area and follow through into a mantecal. So the op sheet would say uh, second battalion advance to hex blah 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 stage and assault the village Matkal. Knowing that we're going to have to go through here, we're going to have to do some attacking along the way and uh, uh, go through that uh, exercise. We'll make a note of that, but our objective is the village of Matkal. So that's really what this entire regiment is doing. These guys over here, real quickly, let me just uh, zoom, uh, adjust the camera a little bit. All right, these guys here, we've got these sniper scouts, the whaling group. Recon, and we want to push them up in in uh, our plan and uh, be a support mechanism to the Seventh Marine, and we want them to uh, basically spot for artillery fire. So get themselves up close, and then uh, do some spotting and try and pound the Dickens out of whatever these guys end up doing. And then the entire uh, we're going to split uh, in one plan. We. Split take uh, one battalion to take the log bridge and then second battalion will then follow through through after this is a, uh, captured and then set up a perimeter along uh, the 75 hill 75 over here and engage whatever is going on over there uh, that's the one plan the other plan is that uh, seventh marine captures the log bridge and extends through uh, and it tries to establish a uh, perimeter over here which would be a second op sheet uh, and the second uh, battalion from 7th marine is just going to go barreling down in through this direction with uh, with a view to actually assaulting the, the village as well uh, that's really the two the the two primary plans uh, for the marines nothing extraordinary there that's going to make you go wow i don't think there are a lot of other options uh, in terms of choices uh for either side really um i did want to keep some historical context so i am trying to keep uh the japanese on uh, attack uh, mode op sheets except for except for the 29th up here which is on a defensive uh op sheet and that there was their historical orders, and the same for the Americans, uh, the Marines. We want both of those forces to be uh, on, on attack off sheets. And the way the victory points are allocated, you know, you've really got to capture the village anyway. You've got to capture the road, uh, the trail, uh, to get those 30 victory points. You will lose those 30 victory points if you bring in the reinforcements or tanks over here, uh, some, some Shermans and stuff, that, uh, which you're not going to see in this dark. We can bring those guys in, but they're, they're going to cost me 30 victory points. There we go. Well, whatever. Anyway, you don't need to see them because they're not going to make the game. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the situation, and we'll uh, get started on this bad boy in the next couple of days.